Hello everyone. So what you see is that uh, thing in the pick state. I'm going to try to re-pick it. <clears throat> but it's a lot more difficult now that I've added the the other pin in there and uh, all the serrations. I was going to make spools in the top because I really wanted to have a spool effect. But um, I have to use... I don't have a small enough collet on my Dremel, so I have to use this clom, and uh, they slip out. It doesn't grip them that well. The rotation speed is slow. And uh, so I basically just used American pin, uh, key pin drivers, as the driver pins up there for serrations. And uh, I did put some spool effects on the on the uh, key pins that I have in here. I did alter every one of those. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and try to pick it on camera. And uh, it will be a challenge lock. Uh, I was talking to uh, Leon's lock pad on, through email and stuff or YouTube messages and uh, I was wondering about challenge locks if you, if you needed a key for it. And uh, he said no. And you know, I think that's true because, uh, I mean, I I understand it because our whole purpose is to pick locks, not necessarily. I mean, it's nice to have a key to make sure that it functions, but uh, even if it doesn't function, it did function as a lock. I got a slight turn there in the middle. It did function as a lock. I got somebody binding back here. You know, it wouldn't open, and then it had to be manipulated with a certain device, and then it opened. You know, so that to me is like a lock. Um, but that's why I got a bunch of those kick cylinders and everything, is because they were already keyed. And uh, if you didn't like the bidding, you could change it. I'm using a diamond on this thing, which is kind of ironic. That's what I tried to originally picked this thing with was a diamond but it was a the round handles really help on, on dimple picking um, because you can rotate and uh, a diamond gives me more reach to lift up and I noticed that uh, it really helps because uh, I tried to use the curved the blue handled curve when they got in here and it's it was too curved or too weird or something uh, I got another click back there on like five or so. It's kind of hard to count these pins. Like, uh, I know it's basically just the same thing as a pin tumbler, just oriented different. Oh, I got another click and a turn there. I think we're close. I really like dimple locks. I mean, this has frustrated me for so long that I was kind of like, uh, it was the only dimple lock I had also until I got that Chinese one. And uh, you really do need, like, the proper tools for the job sometimes. I could have made something, you know, on my own, but, uh, I don't know, I guess I wasn't that motivated. But now that I do that, I've, I'm going to order an Abus lock. They have the EC series, which are dimple, and there's a 7560 that I'm looking at. They also make a 7530, but I like the bigger padlocks. You're just going to have them around on display. We got a bunch of crunches there. You know, like two finger tension on this thing. Ooh, ooh I, I unset everybody. See, if you get in here, if you get in here and you turn up and you grab both those warnings, I don't know if you can see that, but you grab both of those and you turn, it'll lever everything up, which it just did, and just basically reset the whole cylinder. So, I'm learning learning what not to do. I have picked it open. It's just not nearly as easy as it was uh, before I modified it. But yeah, I'll send this guy out. I guess I'll have to uh, email the person that I'm sending it to and ask them if they've got dimple picks. Uh, because I wouldn't want to send a challenge lock to somebody that not only has never picked a dimple lock before, but doesn't have picks for them either. Alright, I'm getting slight movement again. I expect to get a lot of crunching out of this. and 
That guy's kind of... There we go. Got a good click out of him. Had to lever pretty far up on that one. Huh. It has a tendency to snag the pick. Some of the other ones I've already rounded off and stuff. I, I On the sharp edges here, I just took a, a needle file. And then uh, I've got some rough grip sandpaper over here. Sandpaper cloth that I used to start smooth out, but I haven't done this one that way. It still has that funky extra end on the thing to it also, but it works. I got a good click there off of one. I can only describe as like middle and back on these pins here. I can't really, once I get past pin one and two, I get kind of lost in the forest back there. But, uh, ooh, ooh, I got some movement there. In the middle. In the middle of the forest. They're definitely different. The keyway is wide open. This might take a while. I opened it up this morning before I had my coffee and everything. Oh, I got a good click off that. That's not me doing all that noise. It's kids outside. Alright, I'm hung up on somebody back here. Ooh, at this again. The only problem with diamonds is it, it can roll off that, that pin pretty easily. And I try to, uh, I try to keep my pick right here on the uh on this side of the warding i'm using a left hand thing and i just try to go back and forth through there because i if i get too far off over this side like i said i'll i'll wind up uh resetting everything basically uncocking the cylinder And this funky little uh, tension wrench works out okay. Oh man, we're already at seven minutes. Oh well, that's life. Basically, the the ten minute thing is what I set for challenge locks and stuff. But since this is my own challenge lock and I've opened it before. <clears throat> I should be able to get it in 10 minutes or less, but you never know. I know I got it in less than 10 minutes this morning because I didn't have that much time before work. But I just left it there. I took pictures of it and everything. But I just left it there. And it is a lot more challenging. But that's what you want. And uh, I get a lot of crunches and clicks. Hmm. Am I getting any? I got a slight turn on the core. I have to put my finger up here this way because it helps guide it. Ooh, I got another good click there. I turn on the core. Not much. Counterclockwise is easier to pick on this one because I can just rest my fingers over here. If I was trying to go the other way, clockwise, uh, I'd have to have my hand racing up on the vise and everything. Oh, I got a good click right there out of like three. Four gave me another click in the turn. Everybody else is springy. You can really feel the springy pins. You, I kind of like, with this diamond, I kind of like run down the stack and try to find out who's binding by where it stops. And, you know, and then try to manipulate that pin. I'm getting nowhere fast. Oh, there we go. Finally. Whew. Right when I thought I was getting nowhere fast. 9 minutes, 15 to 6 seconds. Not my best time, believe me. But, uh...
All right, let me yank this thing out of here and show you what I've done to it. Oh, it fell down. All right, now the C clip is different in that it's a, I guess it's what you call a bendy clip. You can basically just bend it out of the way. You have to mobilize one end of it usually. And I have no key again, so I gotta watch that I don't 180 this thing and drop the pins all in there and make a big mess. And usually when you're doing the C clip, that's when that stuff's gonna try to happen. I'll, I'll pry the sucker off and it's like this. Uh, get your butt out of there. Come on, I've already had a long picking session. We don't want a long gutting. Oh, I don't want to... I don't want to relock it either. When I first saw this C-clip... Oh, oh, sorry, my head. I'm off camera and everything. When I first saw this C-clip, I thought... For sure, uh... I was going to have a big problem with it the first time. And... Damn it. There we go. It's trying to jump back in. We're not going to let you. We're going to force you out of there. There. Off you go. And don't take the cylinder with you. Man. Alright, let's get a shim. Uh, speaking of which, I just looked at my uh, memory card I had to change up my memory card and my uh, phone and look what they gave me free shim <laughs> but I, I, uh, I like these a little bit better than ones from sparrows all right I tried to uh, find all this stuff and I have a semi free spot over here Everybody out of the way. Sorry, let me change this camera angle here. I'm just going to go long with this, and if it's too long, it's too long. Alright, everybody back up. You out of the way. Important work here. Alright, where's my follower? It takes the hollow follower on this one. And earlier when I was looking at the key pins on that one video I did where I said uh, they're, sh you know, Schlage pins, are, they're not. I don't, it's obvious even in the video that the Schlage pins are a lot bigger. These are uh, almost like padlock size pins. All right. So, as you can, let me see if we can get this guy to focus properly. As you can see, I tried to do counter milling here. That's what that weird stuff is. I tried to do counter milling. It's got a little bit of a lip. Let me dump these guys out. And all that brass down there is from uh, making, well, working on these pins, actually. Oops, are you the right one? Yeah, you're number four. You can come out, but you must come out in sequence. <clears throat> All right. Let me uh, dust everybody off. Oops. I don't want to do that. Well, it doesn't matter. There is no key to this. It's just I put these pins in here. They could go in in any sequence. I, w I left the standard down here. All right, let's go ahead and look at what I did on the top. Now, I, I did that cap screw. And uh, that allowed me to plug that hole. It is a little bit loose. I'm going to have to put some Loctite on it or something like that to, to keep it in place. Because I can touch it with my finger and feel it wiggling. So it might be the tap and the... Uh, they're, they're both Chinese tap and Chinese uh, cap screws, so... Somebody might have got their specifications off slightly. Uh, all right. You just sit over there for right now. Turn this guy right side up. I'm still looking for the tweezers, which are right in front of me. All right. So this is going to be like pin one, which it didn't have before. It didn't have a pin one. 
And I don't have the light on the camera, so... Oh, we gotta get the stupid shit out of it. Because, oh man, what? I'm pushing this follower pretty far back. Why is nothing happening? There. Now. I've learned with hollow followers to, like, keep your uh, finger or something back there. Because if you miss it coming out, it's going to go down that hole. All right, pin one was a standard. Pin two is one of those, uh, I'll get these closer up when I get up here, but it's one of those American drivers uh, with serrations. That's what I, I went basically just to give me a little bit more feel. Oops. See, that guy just fell out. Oh. Uh. Another serrated. You can do it that way. Also, the quickie way of getting it. Got a spring with that one. All right. Put these guys over here. I want to make spools on the top though because uh, I like it when you have to counter rotate because it gives you the opportunity of dropping pins <clears throat> and messing you up. All right, where oh, where's my zoomer? There we go. Oops. Back here. Let's image some more. Now on the on the Bible. The only, the only chamber that's threaded is that one that I tapped all the way through. And these are long. Uh, the tap almost bottomed out trying to get all the way down there. I left the, all the other ones standard up in there. Um, but basically this guy is kind of T-pinish. Um, besides having that little spool effect to him. This is a standard. This guy, I don't know what you want to call him. Well, he, he's oriented improperly. We'll call it that. Sort of a spool with a serration on there. And uh, another kind of like spool, another uh, serration, and another kind of like deep spool serrated. And then these uh, American pins have got nice sharp serrations on them. And that was not like that. He was the other way around. But that's what I had in there. And uh, believe me, well, oops, sorry. Believe me, it it does uh, it does change the the picking time. Of, well, you saw how long it took. This is already 18 minutes, so I'm gonna have to fast forward some of this. I guess I don't know. But well, there you go. I'm going to put that together, and uh, I'm going to probably try to make a spool or two up here. And then this will be a challenge lock. But uh, hope everyone's having a good time, and uh, thank you for watching this long video.